Alright everybody, um, welcome back to uh, the Monster Project. So, um, I don't know if the mic is a little bit different than before because well, <laughs> my microphone actually died uh, yesterday. So I hope this is actually working quite well, but um, um, no further ado, uh, let's get started on this and uh, try to finish the uh, goddamn uh, grass here and then after that we will uh, start coloring it up. A bit and then uh, move forward all right um, let's see where we are leaving behind right there it should actually quite work well so no worries no worries at all uh, I put the eraser on yeah. so um, yeah a lot of things happened oh, and I should have should have moved oh I need to do this from this way oh, yeah. Almost forgot, almost forgot. So, uh, yeah. I've been working quite well on um, on getting the motherfucker up and done. So that's, uh, I got a little bit excited today for finishing it. And, um, yeah, works well. So, yeah. Um, do, 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 do. There you go. And then I also cleaned up the screen for the... Um, how do you say, uh, the tablet itself. I finally found some uh, screen uh, cleaning uh, supplements that works on tablets without, you know, ruining the inner layer. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, you don't want to make it, you want to clean it, but you, and you want to make it hygiene, hygienic, but you don't want to uh, ruin the, uh, the coating that is on it. Because otherwise you're going to get the scratch coating, which uh, sucks ball if it uh, gets ruined. I already had it ruined once, it's in the top corner of my screen, luckily. That's because I tried to clean something with my nails. Good advice, don't do that. Never, ever, 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 ever. It's, uh, it's a good advice, it's a uh, very good advice to follow. I keep on following afterwards, um, so yeah. And, um... I actually got a little bit further with the uh, throne room, which is nice. Honestly, it's not yet fully done. I need to do a lot of things here and there. Implementing some textures, implementing some coloring. So that's all good. And there you go. Right. Yep. And then go here a bit. It's all about you know dividing and uh, getting it all done by dividing it and then work on it afterwards. Might be a pro oh yes, I need to be very careful. I need to be very cautious here then with that part there. Yeah. Well, at least you know I need to be cautious with it when I use the uh, coloring. Indefinitely. It's most of the cases just you know looking at the grass, look where it is. And then finishing where you need to be. Oh, that looks good. And make it not, yeah, make it a little bit more spread out afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult, sometimes it's not. It all depends on what, uh, how the uh, drawing is going to be up and running. Right. 
just like that we just finished a bit of the uh, of the grass again Let's... my main issue is always that the grass is always a pain in the ass to do mm. oh. oh i did press the button a little bit too hard yeah it's not that big of a deal it's just that now i need to do this and then there is a bit here there is a bit there there. And now I need to make sure that I don't repeat the same mistake, so no more harsh, harsh um, pressing. The main issue that I have now is that the, uh, uh, because I pressed a little bit too hard, too much, uh, uh, too much black is into the uh, drawing, which causes major issues if you uh, don't do it properly. Luckily, it's oh man, this bit right there screws it up. Yes, now it's good. Ah, was a little bit worried, yeah. Maybe most of the case it is that the um. My main issue is always that these things are always a little bit too hectic to, 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 to. No, color, please don't press that, thank you. Yeah, it's, a, it's quite a hectic thing to look around with, especially if you try to do your, uh, try to do the thing that you want to do, and then suddenly, you know, you're, uh, the, the whole, the whole thing is actually, cl uh, getting worse. Uh, it's just that you know, not pressing too harsh, and pressing a little bit too less. Both things are terrible, but uh, I think uh, it will. I think it will all go fine. Yes. All right, that works. So today's goal is uh, getting the grass colored in, uh, finishing up the grass texture, and maybe do also some bit of the rocks, but I'm a little bit tired today. 
it is um I had to wait to deliver a piece of paper for two hours sitting on a couch at the place because they were too busy. And I was like, Whoa, you ask me quite a lot though, there. Yeah, the, um, the main issue was that because uh, because it was such a sunny day, the sun was constantly aiming at your face when, you tr when you're trying to, uh, you know, look at something. So there was a low hanging sun, and you had to sit in the uh, you had to sit on the couch, and there was no shading, so it was annoying as hell. But uh, really, 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 oh my god! Every single time, every single time I try to draw, it's like, hey, I'm um, I'm gonna change color now. Goodbye. I'm like. But did I just got the right feeling? Damn it. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, I tried to... Uh, I, tried to pick, I tried to, you know, ignore it. But uh, two hours is a little bit long on sitting on a chair. That's for sure. That's for sure. The main issue, the main issue is that, uh, that comes with that is like... Oh! I see this person gets the appointment. Oh, this person gets the appointment. Well, I just had to deliver a goddamn piece of paper. So after two, two uh, after two hours, the other, uh, the other, um, uh, the other person from the info, uh, from the info kiosk, came to me and was like, "You only need to deliver paper. That uh, looks official to me." Picks up the stamp, boop, and it's like, "But, but we don't have to control it. No, no, you can just." Delivered it straight away. It doesn't need anything. Will be delivered on time. I'm like, thanks. Of course, I did it with a smile, but uh, holy hell, it was uh, was a good experience. You know, delivering a piece of paper for uh, and then waiting for uh, arriving on time and then uh, like, was it ten o'clock in the morning? Yeah, ten o'clock in the morning. Twelve kid. Twelve. 12 miles of uh, biking to get to the right location I needed to be and then you know waiting for two hours of course after that I was goddamn hungry so uh, I bought myself some uh, two butter croissants uh, afterwards eat a toast and then uh, went home because you know you cannot drive back on an empty, empty stomach it is no not done at all if you do it, if you do, if you try to drive back on an empty stomach, the main problem is that you're uh, gonna be like, oh my god, the belly hurts. Yeah, that that is always the thing because, well, you know, you uh, you you want the energy. You're you literally your stomach is cry, crying for uh, food. But yeah, so th I did that. I also bought some tiny little fish. With that, I mean food. Little tiny candy fish. Deliver that to my mother because, well, you know, I was back at the uh, I was back at the village where where they had those things, and I was like, ah, well, since that I'm here anyway, I uh, I will buy that, and I had to buy a new um, headphone because, well, you know, the other one broke. Can't use a can't use a goddamn uh, telephone that actually. Uh, is horrible uh, with uh, glitching glitchy feelings of course you know the mic part was not destroyed it was just the goddamn headphone part was destroyed so if I would shake my head a little bit link uh, to the left or the right I would immediately get disconnected from the PC so it was like ah well that's a problem it's because of uh, the connection within the plugin um, had spilled soda on it. By the way, soda spilling it? Absolutely a terrible idea. Mm hmm. Soda spilling. Ugh. Worst thing you can get for hardware, indefinitely. Um. So yeah, I did that. I uh, succeeded at what I wanted to do in the first place, and um, now I'm trying to figure out what I do now, which is uh, finishing up the throne room, getting the things done. 
you know, all that stuff. It's all important, it's all good and handy dandy for me to do. So, um, what now, what now, what now? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Now we're gonna zoom out. Uh, that part is a little bit too empty. All right, that's good. Um, now we're gonna go back to the coloring of the grass, which is the bit, this bit, and then we're gonna use this bit to um, yeah. <laughs> just perfect nice all right um this is some scary business indefinitely all right now we can zoom out to double check how this looks because that's important yes i can see the rocks good 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 all right um now that we've done that we now need to add in the different colors into it. I think I will go first for the, uh, since I picked up the normal color, I will go first for the highlights and then for the dark, dark lights, right? That would be the smart move. Oh boy. Yes, I don't need to overdo it, but I do need to do it. All right. This is going to be the most... This is going to be the longest thing to do anyway. It's like, you know, creating the highlights on the, the highlights on the grass here and there. It makes things like... Woo, bleh. All right. Let's see what happens. Alright, so it should work if I'm correct. Um, so one. Oh, that, 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 no, no, go away. I just need to make sure that I'm doing the um, right amount, I believe. Yeah, right amount. And in the right way. So always go with it, not without it. Nice. Alrighty, when I look down towards it, if I just, you know, uh, sit a little bit tighter on the uh, chair and then, you know, look down on it, instead of looking into it, like normally I look at it into a straight 90 degree angle, but now I'm looking at it from a 30 degree, uh, from a 45 degree ang angle. So therefore the screen actually uh, becomes more uh, darker. I can immediately see the highlights correctly, like, ah, well, these highlights, they are showing up as proper. Uh, so, that is good. Alright.
going back into the normal mode. But yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work, definitely. And um, today I had a lot of talking. A lot of meeting people up, going to places, talking again, waiting again, going to a uh, crowded market. I was surprised how much stuff there was, actually. There were now, uh, the uh, Christmas art articles are already at hand. I was like, all right. That's fast. Whew. That's really fast. Holy hell. So, uh, yeah. Right now I can already buy Christmas socks or Christmas t-shirts or Christmas... Uh, uh, how do you say that? Um, jackets? The ones that are made by, uh, you know, by sheep wool. Yeah. The wool, the wool shirts. Wool shirts? Wool jackets. No. Wool shirts. Yeah, wool shirts. The wool shirts that are, uh, oh, wool hoodies, one other thing. Eh. Either way, um, yeah, those things are already now um, available. Because, well, that's actually quite fast. Because it's, it's, see, it's now November, so technically at the 20, at the 21 November, I believe. Yeah. 21 November, I will have some, um, 21 November, the event is going to be happening again, I believe. And then at 1 December till 6, uh, fun is going to happen. So, 21? No, yeah, 21 he arrives. The old man in the, um, old man in the red, I believe. The old man in the red actually arrives at, uh, 21 December. St. Nicholas. But, uh, I don't know for sure. I don't pay attention too much anymore because the uh, because the uh, because well you know <laughs> it's not like I need to celebrate that but uh, I should I definitely should to celebrate it even though if I'm alone and is one of the things that you need to celebrate technically you need to celebrate the holidays if you're alone because otherwise you're not going to be having having a good time oh well yeah. Well, we already need to buy a Christmas tree is a little bit too early, but uh, I will definitely buy a Christmas tree. Probably gonna buy a big giant one and then just put it in front of the in front of the yard and be like, "Ha, sake! I bought myself a Christmas tree and I'm gonna make it sure that it grows." And then people will ask, like, "Why are you buying a Christmas tree and then make it and then make it grow in your yard?" I'm like, "Because I'm not having it inside of my house because you know, it's not very clean." Ah, Christmas trees. And then probably I'm going to go for some uh, light that works on uh, on sun energy. Yeah, sun energy would actually work quite well on those. All right. Blah, 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 blah. What now? What now? What now? Oh, yeah, I need to highlight more grass. That's what I need to do. Making sure that all the things work quite well. Oh, you have this grass and then you have this grass, and it's like, whoa, what a difference. Well, both are great. Don't get me wrong, there. It's, uh, the grass is indeed one of the things that is eye catchy, and it's one of the things that is very important for um, things to grow in. You know, grass. If you get it right, it can create more immersion than you think, which is good. I like uh, I like immersion. I like immersion, especially with grass. Also, it gives a little bit more of a greener feeling to it, to a forest. And then uh, this kind of uh, this kind of uh, grass actually does exist, honestly. It's the overgrown grass that um, the overgrown grass with trees. So normally you have trees that are closed up towards each other, and then you have this overlapping grass with moss and uh, other things within it. So rocks and uh, you know roots and uh, ferns, I believe. So technically, yeah, you could you could technically imagine that this would be in a forest. The only thing that you could not imagine is probably big giant crystals that are lumping around uh, engulfed in the trees that make them grow big. But, you know, those things also exist. 
in this one. All right. Uh, but, 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 but. Does this look nice? Oh, yes, it does. Now I do need myself. I do, I do, I do. I do need myself a darker color. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Now we're going to go for the easy one, which is 24, 26. Uh, a little bit more of this. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to go for only the one that we need. And we're going to go for 78, probably. Oh, yeah. 78 is a good one. Now we're just going to add in the uh, darker environment around it. And then once uh, once we have the darker environment, we're also going to add more light. We're going to also add some more lighting towards it. So probably going to use a blur tool to create the effect that I want. Yeah, that would be a smart move. Oh, man. <laughs> ah, this tool is so, so sweet to look at always. All right. Uh, we have normal color, normal color, normal color. Uh, right here needs a bit more color upwards. All right. Now we're going to just look into it like this. Because technically we do need to do that. Because not everywhere is the same thing. Mm -hmm. This bit is almost complete. Just need a little bit more mushy mushy. Ooh, that's not good. Because of the, yeah, it's because of the goddamn. Can't have that. Can't have that. I need to remove some of it then. All right, now we're going to make sure that this color, yes, this color is lessened. Uh, we need then the soft eraser for this, I believe. Soft eraser on. Oh, yeah, that works. That works. It's a very soft erasing, that's for sure. But uh, it should it should do the trick. Don't get me wrong now. It should do the trick. It did it. It did do the trick. Nice. And I also now need to put more light colors into it again. Ah, uh, bop 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 bop. All right, a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of blurring does wonders, and the, and this whole damn this whole damn drawing doesn't like to get rendered. Absolutely not, as I as my screen is already proving that by a long shot. All right, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. do I want to have this already erased then? Hmm. Yes, but I do want to do this in the other way around, so we're going to do it with a uh, pencil.
because pencil actually works well here. And then we can 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 and then we can finally call it a day. Because now if we actually finished up the grass, and then we can just add in the trees, and then we can finally oh well first we add in first we're gonna color in the stones, then we can add in the trees, and then we can add in the effects, and then we can add in the blur, and then we can finally call it finished. Oh man oh man. Wow. This is one of those lovely projects that you are like, ah, well, how long are you going to probably take on this? And then you're like expecting like, ah, probably, you know, two months, maybe max. And then I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I forgot about my art style. Yes, uh, that's going to be taking more. <laughs> uh, art styles, they are fun, especially if you don't, if you only work one hour on it, it is absolutely horrendous, my art style. Because um, a lot of work and a lot of detail work just takes like max already like two hours minimum if you uh, if you if you know where you know you need to do it well if you don't know where to go for it if you know what you need to do then probably max an hour but still it's detail work so it always takes a long time because well detail takes I don't know it does take a lot of time. The same as you, if you ask like somebody to make you a shoe, then yeah, no, it, making a shoe is difficult. So you know, first you need to make the first you need to first you need to measure the sh uh, the feet of the person that you're making the shoe for. Then you need to de design the shoe. Then you need to craft the shoe, and then you need to then you need to color the shoe and uh, make all the things happen to make it look pretty. So yeah. Lots of work goes into a shoe. The only design alone is already a, probably a week of work. The creating of a shoe probably takes already, I believe, at least two or three days. Because of all the things that you need to do, all the measurements, all the stuff. And then, you know, the, fi the finishing on the shoe is also a thing. So, yeah. A lot of work goes into it. I don't mind it though. I don't mind it. But it is indeed a thing that can happen. And we need to realize that for sure. That you know such projects probably going to be doing the same thing as you know what uh, I'm probably going to be do calling the magical gold pro the magical gold drawings probably also a project because technically they are. But at least with those, you know, I make more progress because I'm actually doing it off off screen as well. Which means that you know a lot of the work that comes with it actually you know gets the sol uh, gets uh, solved, but of course you know it is always a thing that uh, comes at hand. Uh, well, of course you know those things are very fun to do, and I'm like, ah, oh, well, I have energy for it. Well, I can work on it now. And then I realize like I want to work on the Malfa project, and I can because I promise to not do that. So I don't work off screen, so therefore, you know, the goddamn motherfuck takes forever. But it looks pretty though. I'll give it that. Mm-hmm. Pretty for the eye, pretty for the for the maker. It calms your mind like a zen. It makes you feel all the things that you always want to feel when you're trying to uh, when you try to look at water. Yeah, waterfalls are also very peaceful, so yeah. That that is what I wanted to make the calculation with, or the uh, reflection with. Anyway, um, ba -ba 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 there we go. And now we are gonna go this way. Yes. All right. Boom. So, how much? How much is done here? It is um There we go. And now we can move it here and down. So yeah. Now 
now we can just move anything. Once this all is done, uh, I'm gonna shout to, uh, on top of my lungs for this because if I finish this, uh, you don't want to know how excited I'm gonna be like, well, it's done, it's done, diddly do, and then you know, I will be celebrating it, of course. All right, now that's what I'm talking about, sweet as goddamn grass, ah. The sweetest grass you can get. Of course, not from Sweden, but it is the sweetest grass you can get. The sweetest. All right. I hope you all have enjoyed for today. And I hope you all liked, you know, seeing me draw grass today. But I'm a little bit way too tired. Whew. Uh, so much done today. Whoa. But, yeah. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed. Uh, thanks all for watching. And I hope we'll see you next time. And uh, until next time.